In today's weekly focus, we are going to talk about DXY, uh, gold, and also GBP USD and AUD USD, and um, to look at key levels to watch for uh, this coming week, and also know what to uh, definitely do why we are trading. So this is the monthly time frame on DXY, and we can see that the overall trend for DXY has been bullish for quite some time now, or about 14 years or so, we have been seeing a massive rally of DXY from this point up to this point. And then we saw a chart pattern reversal, which is a double bottom we had from these areas of price. So looking at the present market and looking at what we have for DXY, we saw DXY reject from the 115 region, which I think this is a very, very um, important key level in the market. The XY rejected from there, and then we saw the close down below the minor level of 110, which um, is another insight for us. We still have this space for the market to fill up, which we are kind of seeing that bullish momentum happening ever since we settled down inside of um, these areas of um, price, the 105 and then the 100 regions of prices. So looking at the present market and looking at what we do have we have um, that fell field breakout right above the 105 region and then we had price close down below it we had price testing these previous um lows here yeah, though we shied away from the major level of 100 price shied away from it and then now we are currently trading above that um, 105 region which we previously saw that um, breakout happen for me Previously, I was seeing this as a bearish market, though we had that breakout here and then price closed down below, which was signaling uh, the downward movement for the XY. But then I was um, also wrong looking at the market from another perspective. So what we do have here now is we saw this break above here. We saw the close down below. This break above here um, was telling us that we have broken that structure the upside and then we should be looking for longs though we didn't look for that long on this support level because this would have flipped to um resistance done to support but then we didn't see that happen the november candle closed down below we saw the retest of these previous lows we had there and the market has made a very tangible rally from this previous um support of 100.000 now we've closed above um, this minor level of 105. So looking at what we have on the daily time frame is where I want to um, kind of stretch on what is really, really going on on the day-to-day -day basis. So we had that um, rally from here. This was the impulse leg. This was a correction, uh, which we uh, which we definitely know. And then we know that this is what is happening to the market. And then we had, we found supports right around there where we had this fake out below this support. And then we had another retest. Um, and then if you are looking at this, the market has been moving inside of this um, ascending channel for quite some time now. Market has been moving inside of this ascending channel for quite some time now, which we have seen price acting anytime we see um, that retest of that um, ascending channel. And then here we found support somewhere here which made this whole place a fake out in the market because we closed we closed down below the market tested it we broke above and then we still came back to test that previous area of uh, support making these um two touches making here two touches up and then we had another touch here which we are currently retesting that um ascending channel right again but then inside of this um present market we know that the overall trend for the xy is now um flipped to bullish from my own analysis in my own opinion i think we should be looking for um longs on the xy because um what the monthly time frame is telling us to do is to look for longs and not for shorts so looking at this we saw the reclaimable um Previously, we saw the market reject from here. 
and then we saw the market test that region again we saw the rejection but not for um, too long we saw um, the market break above here we saw the reclaim of this 105 minor level region and then the market tested this um, ascending um, channel we had the top of this ascending channel we had uh, we started um, right around um, July 23rd so now what I want to stretch is uh, in this present market now we are having that bullish flag we are having that bullish flag which we have been seeing the market moving inside of this bullish flag for a very long time and for last week's trading for, for Friday's close we saw that um, bullish engulfing engulfing these two days of rises so that bullish engulfing engulfing these two days of crisis. So we should be looking at um, a break above here and then we'll retest these previous areas of um, resistance. We test, uh, we see the break above and then we, uh, we look for short opportunities. We look for, sorry, we, we look for a retest of this previous area of resistance, serious area of support, serious area of support, and then this previous area of support. So we should be looking for a break above, a proper break above of this um this um uh, this point here. Look for a proper proper break of it, and then we wait for a pullback to retest here. If that happens, but then the inverse is the case. If we get a close down below here, we should get a retest of this to come back to this previous um areas of price which we initially broke. Um, before we saw price rally all the way to the upside. But then I'm a bit skeptical about this because if we are seeing that bullish flag happening, then we should get that break above and then subsequently test this for the second time. And if we do test it, we should retrace a bit before we get the break above it. The overall target for DXY right from the monthly time frame should be looking at um, the previous highs we had here, which is a 115 area of price. If we get price to rally all the way to the upside there, then we should be looking for short opportunities on the XY. So this is what I have for the XY. Then we are going to go right into the next currency pair, which we are going to be looking at, which is the um, pound dollar. We are going to go um, right into the next currency, which we are going to be looking at. Which is the pound dollar so we know that the pound dollar is on um on a massive downtrend for quite some time now because of these double tops which uh we saw rise make in the market quite um for a very very long time now so looking at this from the monthly perspective for last month's trading we had that uh pin bar you guys know i love trading the pin bars very very much i love trading the pin bars because they kind of give you uh, a proper direction and when to go long or go short on your own positions so we had that uh, we had that uh, pin bar for last month's trading and then the market for this month we got the 50 percent um, retracement of this pin bar which we tested that 50 percent and then the market has dropped um, very, very much little compared to what we were expecting. So looking at what we have from the daily time frame, the daily time frame, uh, we know that we have this uh, descending channel here. We have this descending channel here, which we saw price close above here. We saw price close down below here, which um, this whole move now was a fake out which happened in the market, which this whole move now was a fake out, which happened in the market. So what we saw was a, a retest of that uh, fake out and then the market dropped uh, very much as we expected after we saw that fake out uh, above this um, descending channel we have. So looking at the present market and what I am expecting, uh, for the market, what the market is showing me to look at, we had that high here, which the market came in and made a low, which the market in turn made a lower high, and then we've seen the market make a lower uh, low. This is 
complete textbook tree. This is um, market structure. Pullbacks happen. This is market structure. And as such, you should always um, follow price action and look at what is happening in the chart right from your monthly time frame through your weekly to your daily and then your four hour where you execute your own trading. So looking at this, we have, um, just as I've said, a high, we had that low, we had a lower high, we had a lower low, and then now we are expecting a lower high to continue um, shutting this market to the downside. So we are looking for um, a short opportunity right around the next lower high we are going to be forming, which uh, we definitely employ that Fibonacci strategy in the market. That Fibonacci strategy in the market, which we take out our Fibonacci to the last um, lower high we had um, drawn to the last lower low we had in the market, which we are currently expecting a, um, a rejection from this place. But then my own sell limit is right around there, which I kind of feel we are still going to test um, this descending channel we had, we started um, right in November 20, right in July 2023. So that is what I'm expecting for GBP USD. In a nutshell, uh, we had a lower high here, we had a lower low, which we are currently expecting another lower high to form before we see that continuation to the upside. But before then, I would like for the market to sweep um, the Friday highs we had, maybe we sweep, we get um, we get um, a sweep of this area and then it close down below to confirm that this was a fake out before we can uh, completely enter the market after we see a close up below here or even we see a close down below this area here. We see a close up below this area to short this market to the next major level of 120. So that is what I expect um, from GBP USD in a nutshell stay on guide and then remember to manage your risk very very well so the next currency pair i'm going to look at is the aussie dollar <clears throat> the aussie dollar which i was also looking at um a very very wrong way in the market we had this um whole move to be showing to the downside for the aussie dollar which we have seen for a couple of years now right from 2021 after we saw this um bullish move momentum to the upside, um, the market made a resistance level here, which since then we have been in that downward movement. And we are looking to continue selling on, um, on um, Aussie dollar up to the major level of 0 0.60 thousand. So looking at what we have on the daily time frame, I love using the daily time frame because it shows what exactly happens um during the trading week so looking at what we have we also have this descending um triangular pattern here which we have been seeing price acting on it for a very very long time which i'm also looking at um for a short opportunity although we missed this area here we missed this area here we also missed the longs from this point which um, shouldn't be on our own trading plan because the overall trend is down unless you are going um, against the trend which you really really need to be very very careful trading the counter trend um, positions so looking at this this was a break down below this minor level of 0 065,000 so the breakdown below now price has closed right above it which we saw a double top formation here. This is a double top formation. This is now the neckline of this double top. And then we saw price breaking the previous um, lows we had in the market, which is also um, a break of market structure to the downside. So the same thing I did on GBP USD, take out my Fibonacci from the last swing high we had to the last um, swing low we had in the market. So this is where we are going to be looking for a short opportunity. If we get a close down below of this minor level of, uh, if we get a close down below of this minor level of support, 
which we are going to see the market retest it as a resistance to continue selling up to the negative 27 FIB extension, which is also um, this um, lows we had back here. So this is a very, very simple trade, simple setup. Um, which you should focus on and then learn from because it is very, very simple textbook trade. You should um, also add to your own trading um, list for this week. So the next currency pair I want us to look at is gold. Gold is a commodity. It's very, very, um, very, very volatile. So looking at what we have on the monthly time frame on gold, looking at what we had on the multi time frame on gold. So we had um, this um, ascending. We had this ascending. Uh, sorry, we had this ascending trend line here for since nineteen. Since 1979, where we saw the first touch here, second touch, and then in 2024, we saw that fourth touch happen in the market. So one trick is if you clone this and then you take it right below it, you see that uh, this is a well known uh, this is a well known channel, an ascending channel, which we should be expecting that continuation you should be expecting the market to continue that pattern for a very very long time which we are also looking uh, potentially for good to collapse all the way to um, this 1600 price point which is um, very very unrealistic but there is no way in the market too far for these candles to be reached because anything can happen in the market so for last month's trading we saw good break above this uh, minor level of 2200, which has um, which has left a great impression after we saw um, this month's candle spike up above up to 2400 price point. So looking at what we had on the uh, the weekly time frame is where I want to weekly time frame no let's look at what we have on the daily time frame we're looking at what we have on the daily time frame we saw price reject from this whole um, area which is a 2400 price point in the market we saw price reject from it and then we, we got a close down below this ascending um, trend line which we had from the monthly time frame in 1979 let me show you guys real quick so this was the this was the ascending trend line we had. We started in 1979. We saw the close down below of that daily candle, uh, which I showed you guys on the daily time frame. We saw the close down below of this daily candle. So this should be giving us a hint on what really the market is doing because we broke above here. The market found support somewhere around there and then we tested the 2400 minor level price point and then um, price came back to close um, right below that ascending trend line which uh, in turn we are looking for a potential fake out of this whole um, trading days we had there so what i'm going to be looking at if you scale down to your four hour time frame which i'm not going to scale down to and you should do that for yourself. Scale down to your four hour time frame. This was um, a high, this was a low. The market, you should come in and then put in another lower high in the market to short this market down to the 2200 price point. So, this is all I have for this week. Should you remember to subscribe, like, and comment? Tell me what you feel about this video. I'll catch you guys on Monday.